by six. First, we take our fully charged red lantern and hang from a tree above the mound on, yes, fishing line, but only a piece long enough to hang the light from the tree. There's our light, fully charged, yet already going out. Battery's being drained, but we can still at least see it, even if the red light is off. Next, engineering tape. As a breeze or wind detector, as you can see there, there's a breeze. Light, 
motion detector, i.e. engineering tape, and potentially, heaven only knows what. So here's what's going on. Here's where we are. A few days ago, we made a video up in this area that I now refer to as Haunted Hollow because this may very well be the most haunted hollow in America. It's bright and it's early because I wanted to make sure if anything happens up here, I'm not stuck in these woods after dark. It's just 8.30 a.m. my time. Now, a lot of folks say Keep your eye on that light and keep listening. And should it move and should it be the wind, the engineering tape will move also. So, I thought I saw it move and I thought I saw something scurrying in the bushes right behind it. You might want to re rewind and watch that. So anyway, Here's where I am up on it hollow. My buddy who told me about this place, and I'll link that video to this one in case you missed it, talked about seeing strange lights even during the day. Let's keep your eyes on this too. Talked about hearing music, following the music, only, ha only to have the music disappear when they got there, him and his cousins when they were teenagers. Well, when I came up this morning, walking on the same trail, up the same hollow, I believed I heard faint music, and it led me to this area. And this is something my buddy told me. He never felt as if he had ever been followed in these woods. He felt as if he had been led through these woods. I had that feeling this morning. Did you see that? Looked like movement, just to, you see that? Look at that, look, 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 look. Let me get my editing equipment. Watch the light. You see that? Is that another light above our light? Yeah, I'm getting creeped out right now. You know, a lot of people say that there's nothing out there at night that's out there during the day. I was getting into this earlier, so my belief is that if there's anything out here at night, it's out here at day too. And I believe we are detecting some of whatever it is. Keep your eye on the light. And there's no breeze right now at this moment. The engineering tape isn't moving. What is that right there peeking out from behind the engineering tape now? Okay, so anyway, I keep looking over here. I'm gonna show you something I found when I was led to this spot by what sounded like music, but music that disappeared once I got here. There are mounds here. Rewind and listen. Let me show you what I found there. Guys, that light swaying, but the engineering tape is not. And I'm hearing strange noises from back there. So anyway, I found these lying here in an area that was once cleared because it's covered with brush and brambles as you can see around me. I don't know how old this stuff is. Would this go back, would this date back to the speakeasy days? Any history buffs out there? What is that? Alright, you want to hear creepy? I can't detect that with my naked eye. It's being picked up on camera, as you can clearly see. But when I look back, there's nothing there. 
I just heard three footsteps coming from directly in front of me. It was like stomp, stomp, ch stomp, stomp, ch I just heard like a banjo. Guys, we might be at the very spot of where a super secret speakeasy was located during the days of prohibition up a haunted hollow in the Blue Ridge Mountains during a time frame in which the people who resided here were forced to leave because they were building a, a, a federal forest in a, in a scenic byway. A, pla a place where allegedly the ghost of an old man who had lost his feet, both of them in the Civil War, and hobbled around the forest on a cane supposedly went to party at night before his death and continued to do so after. Okay, there's a breeze, judging by the engineering tape. It's not strong enough to move the lantern though. I'm gonna see if I see anything else here that may be remnants of the speakeasy. Make sure to keep watching and make sure to keep listening. I'm right here. I am right here. The lantern is moving like crazy, yet the engineering tape is not. Do we have company? Are you here with us? I'm gonna take this phone off the tripod. To give you another view of the surrounding area. And be prepared to take my phone and run should it come to that. There are all kinds of strangely deformed trees in this area. I'll show you some more of the mounds. Somebody said in the comments on that other video that mounds are common where there are trails, like the one I was on. I'm not on a trail, and I haven't been on a trail for some time. Here's a mound. Up here's a mound, and you might want to rewind and listen with earbuds in. I thought I heard a growl. I just heard it again. And my buddy also said, I missed one of the key points when I made that video. And I said, what was that? And he said, well, when I told you that sometimes it sounded like there were two-legged creatures running through, you know, where we lived at night, and that's why we didn't go outside at night, you forgot to mention that it sounded as if those two-legged creatures weighed in excess of eight or 900 pounds. It wasn't just the sounds of an ordinary person running it was somebody or something that had to be three times the size of an NFL football player keep getting my six here's the real reason I took the phone off the tripod I wanted to show you this angle that I was looking at when I started filming this video we're now looking in the direction in which I was facing and I see solid black masses back there that were not there at the beginning of the recording of this video And I watched that last video and I, I just heard a knock. People mentioned in the last video, which again, I'm gonna put on the end of this one, 
that it appeared as if these sorts of objects were ducking down behind me when I'd stop, just like this. Many pe people mentioned seeing them moving and then ducking down, as we're seeing right here, right now. One thing's for sure, like a lot of other folks said, and like we've witnessed here today with this video, there definitely are some strange places in our world. Strange things happen, which cannot be explained. Make sure to tune back in for more from the PBS. S. potential Bigfoot Sasquatch show here at Homesteading Off the Grid on YouTube. On the internet.